Hey guys, so I am back. Yes, uh, after three days of absence, or I should say four days of absence, I am back and it's time to do a benchmark. Okay, so Geekbench 4 uh, got released yesterday, I think, or maybe two days ago, and it's available on uh, both App Store and the Play Store. And I want to try it out on uh, pretty much all the new 2016 flagship phones here. So we got the LG G5, we got the Samsung Galaxy S7, the iPhone 6S on iOS 9.3.5, not iOS 10. So I did uh, the uh, downgrade process on this one. And then we have the Huawei P9 Plus, uh, then the HTC 10, then OnePlus 3, which I'm using as my main phone right now. Uh, I was using the Note 7 and then I switched to this one because I wanted to do some, uh, you know, review. So I want to use it so that I can give you guys my honest opinion on it. And then we have the mighty Galaxy Note 7. So uh, I'm just going to launch uh, this Geekbench 4 on all my phones. Okay, so good thing about the Geekbench 4 is that uh, you can do the GPU benchmark also, and that's uh, just for the Android devices. So, um, yeah, I've, on the iOS, I only have the option to run the CPU benchmark, and I can see the history, devices, settings, and that's pretty much it. So, um, yeah, uh, so first off, we're going to be running the CPU benchmark, okay, uh, on all the phones, and <clears throat> Then we're going to run the GPU benchmark uh, to see the GPU performance. Also, uh, specs-wise, of course, uh, the, uh, the, the Note 7 has Exynos processor, Exynos 8890. The S7 has Exynos 8890, 4 gigs of RAM. Uh, all the Android phones that are on this table have 4 gigs of RAM, except the iPhone, which comes with uh, 2 gigs of RAM. Uh, iOS, uh, and other than that, all these phones, Android phones, have Android Marshmallow, um, the HTC 10 and LG G5 have Qualcomm 820. Also, the OnePlus 3 also have Qualcomm 820. Um, actually, OnePlus 3 have, uh, has the 6 gigs of RAM. So, yeah, that's that. And uh, the uh, Huawei P9 Plus comes with the Kirin 955 chipset, their own uh, custom chipset, you can say. So, uh, I'll be back when these devices are done. Okay, guys, we are done. And we have uh, pretty interesting scores uh, so far, you can see the, the first one, LG G5, uh, 1,672 single core uh, and 3,401 multi-core. And then we have the Galaxy S7 uh, with the highest multi-core here, 5,366 uh, 5, and uh, 1,869 single core. The iPhone 6S with the highest single core score, 2,476 and uh, the multi-core score of 4,266. Even with dual core, it has more score compared to the G5 and the HTC 10, which is insane. Also compared to the OnePlus uh, 3 here. Um, I think it, it, it needs like a little bit more optimization. I think, um, you know, the scores can improve for HTC 10 and G5. You can see a pretty poor score with the HTC 10, multi-core 2,872 and 1,621. Uh, 1,750 with the Galaxy, uh, with the OnePlus 3 and the Galaxy Note uh, 7 with 1,819 and 5,097 multi-core. So I think uh, for the Android devices, we have the, the best score uh, is uh, with the Galaxy S7. And it's pretty close to the, uh, to the Huawei P9 Plus. Really like the current chipset, runs really cool. And it's not Qualcomm, you know, they, they make their own chipset. Um, you know, it's powerful and it's nice. And iPhone success, awesome as always. So uh, now we're going to be doing a GPU test. Uh, of course, on the iPhone, we don't have that. So I'm just going to go into, uh, we're gonna, just going to go back and go into compute section and do the compute benchmark or GPU benchmark. And you can see we have, uh, let me just quickly uh, lower down the brightness and show you guys that we have Melly T880 GPU on the Galaxy Note 7. So I'm just going to start this one here. And on the OnePlus 3, we have Adreno 530, uh, a 1920 by 1080p display. So, and also the same Adreno 530 GPU with the um, HTC 10. 
Uh, then we have the P9 Plus, which also comes with Meli T880 GPU, same as the Galaxy Note 7 and the Galaxy S7. I think the uh, it has like less cores compared to these bad boys, so iPhone, no. Um, then comes the Samsung Boy here, and same GPU as the Galaxy Note 7, of course. I have the Exynos variant, and then time for the G5. Uh, so all these phones have Quad HD display, uh, except the OnePlus 3 and the iPhone 6s. Uh, so they are almost done. Uh, that was a fast finish. You can see 6,990 6, with the Galaxy Note 7. Uh, no, it's actually OnePlus 3, my bad. Uh, then we have 6,719 with the HTC 10. So you can see 1080p quad HD difference there. Um, 1080p gave the OnePlus 3 like extra uh, score there. The Galaxy Note 7 is done and this is a joke. 2811. What the hell? And it, uh, you know, this one also took some time there to complete. Uh, again, like I said, the Geekbench 4 might need some uh, time for optimization, you, s you should say. Uh, you know. But all these phones right now on this table right now, they can run pretty much any game without any problem, without any lag, uh, that's for sure. Uh, but, you know, Geekbench, it's just numbers. Uh, they may not translate into real-life performance. You can see LDG 5867 5, score. Um, Huawei P9 Plus 3055, it, uh, I think it's not optimized for Mali GPUs, so pretty poor result here. Uh, even with the less cores, uh, the P9 Plus has like more score compared to the Note 7. But again, you know, it's not optimized. Uh, I know it's a really strong GPU, it should score above um, 6,500, you can say. And then we have the Galaxy S7, almost same as the Note 7. So interesting stuff here with the new Geekbench 4 um, application, benchmark application. Also, let me know uh, if you want me to do like uh, the test, uh, this, you know, run this test on other phones. Um, let me know. And uh, yeah, these are the top dogs we have, you know, uh, top smartphones that you can buy right now. iPhone 7 coming this week it will get announced so i'm really excited um and definitely we're gonna be having a lot of fun with the iphone 7 just like we had with all these other bad boys so um yeah that is uh, all guys for this one and uh and yeah it needs some optimization i guess at least for melee gpus and uh, also optimization for hc10 and the g5 when it comes to cpu scores um Seems like it's not that optimized. Scores were pretty poor. So yeah, catch you guys in my next video. Peace out.